In other news tonight, sled dog teams from around the country are set to take a 228 mile mission through the UP tonight. Our meteorologist Brittany Rouleau takes us to Marquette to meet the mushers and see what the hype is all about. Ready, set, mush. The UP 200 sled dog race is ready to roll. This downtown starts amazing. Dump trucks loaded with snow began building the starting trail this morning right on the main street cutting through the heart of Marquette. It seems a little crazy, but um, this is what we got to do to run dogs out of town and bring this great community event uh, to life. And a Wisconsin woman is taken to the trails tonight. Meet Lucy, who's 69 years old. It's wonderful to be out in wild nature and just take it all in. She began mushing in the later years of her life, has the historic Iditarod under her belt, and is now coming full circle back to where it all began. See if I can do it. If you have the motivation, anybody can take a few dogs and uh, make it into a sport. That checks were underway, checking the dog's physique, paws, limberness, and health. I really enjoy working with the dogs and training them and trying to build that relationship. It is really phenomenal when you have a team of 12 dogs, you cannot touch them. So everything is voice command and it's awesome when they're all doing the same thing, the same speed, it's working. When it comes to steering the dogs, there's a few simple commands you can do. Gee is make them turn to the right. Ha makes them turn to the left, while hike and mush gets them to go. And whoa, easy, gets them all to slow down. See, it's as simple as that. 7 p.m. the first team rolls out of downtown and headed west into the woods. It's a little more in the wilderness. Um, obviously with the, being this close to Lake Superior, we get uh, any north wind she can throw a little punch at us. They will head to their first checkpoint enduring the true test of stamina. And a local man from Green Bay is in charge of keeping track of these teams as they go through their checkpoints. If one of the teams does not come through that we're expecting, then we start to go back and look for that team. The wild weather can make trails disappear and inadvertently teams can go off the trail blinded by blizzard conditions. As they head into the dark, blustery and brutal winds tonight, you can track them online. In Marquette, Michigan, I'm meteorologist Brittany Merlot with photojournalist Matt Coles, NBC 26.